رجعنا لكم مشاهدينا من بعد هذا الفاصل الحين في هذه الفقرة في العديد من المواضيع اللي راح نطرحها تهم الطلبة اللي حابين انهم يدرسون في الولايات المتحدة الامريكية من ناحية طلب تأشيرة الدخول ونصائح عديدة راح نسمعها من ضيفنا المسؤول القنصلي في السفارة الامريكية لدى دولة الكويت السيد جون داو Welcome, Mr. John, with us. Thank you. Uh, we have so many questions uh, to ask, uh, basically for the students, uh, the Kuwaiti students that want to come to America. وسؤالي الأول سيد جون ما هي الخطوات العامة للتقديم للتأشيرة الأمريكية? The process begins on a website. Uh, Applicants should go to ustraveldocs.com. Mm. Uh, they will fill out the application online and submit their photo. After that, they must pay a fee. Everybody going to the United States for a visa needs to pay a fee. It's about $160 or less than 50 dinar. Yes. Uh, they pay this at any Bergen Bank in Kuwait except the airport branch. Mm. Uh, once they pay the fee, they use the receipt number. They go back to ustraveldocs.com. To book, an inter, uh, to book an interview. They schedule an interview that takes place at the U.S. Embassy. Mm. Um, once a visa is approved, it takes about a week. Yes. We are happy to have you in Raikum Shabab, Mr. John. It's the same process, except students start a little bit more, a little bit earlier, uh, because they need to be accepted to a college in the mm. United States. So after they're accepted at a college, they work with their school, the school that accepted them to get a form that's called an I-20. Um, they will need this information um, before they start the, the application process. There's also an additional, additional student fee that every international student pays that they must pay, mm -hmm. that they must pay before they come to the embassy. Um, another difference is that during the interview, we ask to see either a scholarship letter from the Kuwaiti government. Yes. Uh, the Kuwaiti government is very generous mm -hmm. and they fund many scholarships for Kuwaiti students. Um, so we, we at the window would like to see that document or uh, people should show the ability that they can pay the first year of their education. Mm -hmm. أه سيد جون نسمع بين فترة وأخرى أنه تم منع بعض الطلبة الكويتيين من الدخول إلى الولايات المتحدة مم. الأمريكية وهذه الأخبار أه تنتشر في مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي وأيضا المواقع الأخبارية فما هو تعليقك؟ uh, We've heard some of these things as well and it's, uh, I'd like to stress first by saying that the amount of people stopped at the border is less than one-tenth of one percent so the number is very small mm. but for students there is one large reason why this happens um, and that's because they fall out of student status mm. so and that can happen in three ways uh, for a student traveling to to the United States um, if they f start failing classes and they fall behind in their education that will help get them out of status mm. um, also if they don't take a full course load uh, you need to take a certain amount of course hours uh, every every semester yes. uh, you need to be a full-time student to study in the United States. Mm. And lastly, uh, many Kuwaitis go to the United States for the first year to learn English, yes. because writing term papers is very hard, mm. uh, and then they move to another university. When that happens, they need to have one school, the first school, tell the second school what they're doing. Yeah. So, uh, because sometimes it looks like the first school, to the first school that they, they, they are, they're graduated, they're done, mm. so they terminate their status. Mm. So we tell people to be in touch with their international student advisor um, constantly so that um, they know what's going on. It's up to the student to do this. Yes. Um, Sir John, عدد الطلبة المتواجدين حاليا في أمريكا. Um, right now, uh, more than 15,500 Kuwaiti students in the United States. It is uh, the highest that it's ever been. نعم. وما هي النصائح التي تقدمها للطلبة الراغبين في الدراسة في أمريكا؟ Oh, advice. Well, uh, the same thing I would tell to all students. Have fun, <laughs> study, but study uh, but hard. But not too much fun. But not, well, <laughs> we'll get to that hopefully. Uh, but uh, you, college kids, they should uh, study hard. Yeah. They should try new things. They should meet people. Um, but it is important to pass all their classes and, again, stay in regular contact with their uh, international school official. Mm. Um, if they fall behind academically, every college will, will have resources that can help them pull their grades up. Mr. John, what are the conditions for the application to the education or the education? In terms of tourist visas, mm. the best time is now. Uh, it's cold in the United States. And 
most of the United States right now, so we have fewer applicants. Uh, the wait time for interview right now is one day, maybe two. Uh, in the summer, when it's hot and people want to escape the heat, uh, the wait times could be as much as two, mm. two weeks. So apply early, apply now. Mm. For students, uh, they can apply for their visa as soon as the, they have an acceptance letter from their school. And we do recommend that people apply early. نعم. Mm. Uh, سيد جون في حال وقع الطالب الكويتي في, في مشكلة قانونية uh, لنقل على سبيل المثال مثل مخالفة سيارة uh, ماذا عليه أن يفعل وأين تنصحه ليتوجه؟ Well we hope that uh, no Kuwaitis have any problems with the law um, but sometimes things happen so if, if any student has a parking ticket or a speeding ticket they must pay those right away yeah. um, and if something perhaps worse happens if they need to tell their international school advisor about that right away because that is one of the things that can um, hurt them when they try to come back into the mm. United States. Mm. Uh, كيف ترى دور uh, uh, الذي يلعبها الطلبة في تقريب وتعزيز العلاقة ما بين الكويت والولايات المتحدة الأمريكية؟ Well, the, the relationship is great and one of the, the chief priorities of the U.S. Embassy in Kuwait is to encourage students to study in the United States and we're very happy about this relationship. Um, it works both ways. Uh, for, for Kuwaitis they have access to some of the greatest uh, colleges and universities in the world um, but for the United States there are economic benefits of course but the United States now has 15,500 cultural ambassadors. Uh, I'm in Kuwait, I see how friendly and nice and wonderful Kuwaitis are um, but Americans now get to see 15,500 friendly, warm people as well. نعم. سيد جون هل لديك إحصائيات عن عدد سفر الكويتيين إلى الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية؟ Again, this is a record number. Uh, 2016 just ended. So yeah. from January 2016 through December 2016, um, more than 87,700 wow. admissions, uh, Kuwaitis, have entered the United States. Mm. Uh, that number has rose, I think, 400% in the last 10 years. And we're yes. very happy about it. Yes, that's uh, a big number. It is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, well, thank you again for having me on your show. Uh, it's you. great to be here. I always like to talk about visas. Um, but we also want to hear from your viewers, for students who are traveling there, for students who are studying there, uh, or for people who have questions. So we would love you to come to our uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter accounts. It's uh, U.S. Embassy Q8, and tell us what you think. Thank you, thank you, Mr. John Dow, على تواجدك معنا اليوم وعلى ردك على هذه الأسئلة التي قد تهم الطالب الكويتي كثيرا خاصة في بداية مراحلة الدراسية. شكرا لك السيد جون داو مسؤول قنصلي في السفارة الأمريكية في الكويت. شكرا لك. مشاهدينا إحنا مستمرين معكم لكن نروح الفاصل ورادين.